Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use your phone's main camera on a second camera, like a remote. So you want to use, uh, you want to put this phone somewhere on a tripod, uh, and then you want to use a second phone to control the camera features. Now, natively, uh, as in, uh, in simpler words, uh, the phone companies don't give you that option. So you cannot uh, do that with Android to Android. There are options with the other devices, like you can uh, buy watches with which can uh, control the camera but they are limited they have just a few functions just the clicking function maybe uh, but this remote has a, a full function so you can actually use this remote software to control the entire features of the camera now it's not the native camera it's not the camera uh, that you get with the phone that camera is not controlled you have to install a separate software now I've been trying a lot of softwares. Uh, now this one is a paid software. It's known as Filmic Pro. So you need Filmic Pro and Filmic Pro Remote. So the Filmic Pro Remote uh, is free. Uh, if you, uh, you, in Android, it's free. You just have to buy the Filmic Pro software, which is for thousand something. So it's not that expensive. With an iPhone, you will have to purchase both of them. So uh, iPhones, all the softwares are expensive. So I've made a video for that. I'll put the link uh, below. If you have an iPhone, uh, look at that video. This one is just for Android. Now, uh, even in that video, I've um, told you about the limitations. So there are three limitations. One that uh, you cannot purchase a software for Android and use it on iPhone or you cannot buy it on iPhone and then use it on Android. Uh, both the marketplace are different. Uh, you don't get the same license for both the OS. So you'll have to purchase both of them separately. Now, the second limitation is that uh, you cannot use it between two OS. So uh, what I thought was maybe what I can do is since uh, the um, software is free for the remote software is free for the Android. Uh, uh, first, I purchased the software for iPhone and then tried to use the remote on the Android. So it does not detect it. It does not work at all. So if you have uh, Android device or you're trying to use this as a, a remote for the iPhone, it will not work. I tried the other way also. Then I actually purchased the software for uh, Android and then tried to use the iPhone as the remote. It did not work. So what I'm trying to say is if you have an Android, it will only work. The remote software will only work with another Android. If you have an iPhone, the remote software will only work with another iOS device. So I've used a uh, uh, iPad. It works with iPad. So iPad, iPod, uh, another iPhone. You can use that as a remote. Uh, the third limitation now uh, the speed may differ depending on your Wi-Fi connection now this actually works through a Wi-Fi now what I've learned by using it for so long is uh, the home Wi-Fi by the time it goes through the router and comes back to the other phone there is a delay now some uh, depending on how much the Wi-Fi is being used the delay increases so the best option is switch on the hotspot on your phone and then connect both the phones together with that that way it's closer and the delay is very very less so in case you have delays with these softwares try a hotspot it works better so uh, that was the three limitation now let's go ahead and see how it actually works uh, let's take a close-up look and then talk about uh, who should be getting this and is it actually worth it so let's go Okay, so let's go ahead and see how to actually uh, use this. First of all, I need to choose which one uh, I'm going to use as the remote. So I'm going to use uh, this one as the remote and this one as the main camera. So I'll have to open up Filmic Pro over here first. So it's opened. Now in Filmic Pro, I have to go into settings. Let me just give you a close up. I have to go into settings and device. And in device, I have to choose remote control so i have to switch that on remote control now over here in the android device you have an option for remote preview only so in that the control still remains on the main phone but you get a preview on this phone so i don't want that i want to control the entire things uh, from here so uh, what i'll do is i'll switch it on but i'll not switch on the other thing now you have a custom name so here it says samsung hero 2 light whatever but i can change that to whatever i want but i'm not going to do that that's it i'm going to keep this aside now i'm going to take this phone and open up filmic pro remote now as soon as i open that up all i need is they should be in the same wi-fi network and then i'll see the name i'll choose that and that's it it's done i think yes it's done 
so you see whatever this camera is seeing I can see over here so let me do a second shoot so let me put this on a second tripod and uh, then see how to actually control everything so let me do that first okay so this is how it's going to look like so I have one camera on a tripod over there so this is what is uh, shooting over here and um, I'm using this camera to show what's happening on the phone so you can actually uh, have a good idea of how much of delay you get so now you'll see there is uh, sometimes it just gets stuck in between like that now that's because of the wi-fi network it's not the software itself if i go into uh tethering if i switch on tethering on my phone and then connect both the phones with that then since it's the devices are nearby and the wi-fi connection is strong uh, you won't find too much of a delay it'll be almost uh, perfect but in home network uh, scenarios sometimes there would be a lot of delay actually not sometimes most of the time there will be delays so this is just to show you how much of delay you get sometimes uh, you're seeing this that way but anyways so let's see what all can we control so all the controls are over here so my resolution setting i can actually change it to 4k filmic pro setting i can go into frames uh, like if i want 30 fps i can choose that 60 fps 30 fps whatever everything can be changed uh, the microphone can be changed so right now i'm uh, the this this camera over here is an iphone which is uh, shooting through a, a microphone so um, the microphone is connected you can choose that if you want uh, any other option like bluetooth option everything can be chosen from here uh, here uh, you have all the GPS tagging everything so all the options available on filmic pro is available here so I don't need to uh, Go to that phone anymore. I don't need to go over there and then change the settings everything is over here. So it's truly wireless this is a very good option once you get used to it uh, this is uh, this will be i mean in case you are a youtuber in case you are a person who uses uh, your phone to do a lot of video recording and you want this kind of remote option this is going to be very helpful to you so even this video which i am showing you uh, right now of how to use filmic pro is being made with another remote so the iphone so the the, the other camera this one is an iphone which is recording uh, and i'm controlling everything here with this and uh, this one is from here and i'm controlling that with this so two remotes running at the same time so that's how it works so uh, hopefully all your doubts are cleared uh, in case you have any further doubts go ahead comment uh, email me my messenger information my contact information everything is available in the description and at the end of the video so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye